Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Today, I'm going to show you on how to buy AutoShop in GTA Online. You guys are gonna need this to take advantage of this week's double money and double reputation points, and other massive amount of money you guys can earn in this week's GTA 5 Online update. So if you're looking to get your hands on your very own auto shop in GTA Online, it might seem like a pipe dream, but now that the Los Santos Tuners update is here, you can snag your very own auto business. Of course, auto shops aren't the only properties you can purchase in GTA 5, but you'll need to make sure you have a healthy bank balance. Before you decide to invest your hard-earned cash, you'll want to know exactly what it is you're getting for your money. Or perhaps you've decided to go all in, but aren't sure where to start. Either way, here's what you need to know about buying a GTA Auto Shop. In this GTA Online Auto Shop Guide, we'll explain how you can buy an auto shop, so you can access the new Los Santos Car Meets Missions, and take advantage of all of the benefits that come from owning your own garage. Buying an Auto Shop in GTA Online First off, head to the LS Car Meet, located in Supre's Flats and marked with a stylish LS logo on your map. Once you arrive, head inside and speak to BB and Pow and Mimi. So once you guys enter the LS car, meet you will be presented with a long cut scene. After the cut scene you can now walk up to Mimi and speak to her and on the interaction menu and purchase the LS car meet membership, which cost $50,000. So once you have bought the car meet membership, congratulations, you have now unlocked the option to buy the auto shop. Now, it's time to buy a auto shop. Now open up your phone by pressing up on the D-pad, select internet, select make main foreclosures, and now you will see the auto shop tab has been unlocked. Select the auto shop tab. Now, you can buy any of the five auto shops as follows. Mission Row, $1,670,000. Strawberry, $1,705,000. Rancho, $1,750,000. Burton, $1,830,000. La Mesa, $1,920,000. The cost doesn't stop there either. You can choose to add custom upgrades to your auto shop for additional GTA dollar S, including emblem, staff, and style, but again, this is going to add significantly to your overall cost. Personal quarters, this upgrade will add a bed, a wardrobe, and a gun locker to your auto shop. It allows you to spawn at the auto shop, which is quite important. If you plan on using this business frequently, it's recommended to spend the additional 340k for this upgrade. Car lift, it's important to note that this isn't just one car lift. The auto shop already comes with one, and this upgrade adds a second car lift. As mentioned on the screen, having a second car lift allows you to repair two cars simultaneously, getting them ready for delivery. This means double the work and double the pay. What you get from owning a GTA Auto Shop. Once you have your Auto Shop, you'll be able to take on missions from KDJ and Sasanta. Simply travel to your new property to watch a cut scene, then access the board in the office upstairs. Don't forget to register as a CEO via the SecuraServe menu option. Once you've completed the introductory job, you'll have access to more contracts. It's unclear at this point how much income you will receive from owning an auto shop, but it should at least go a little way to recovering some of your cash. Here are other benefits you can enjoy from your auto shop. Exotic Exports List, a chalkboard list of 10 cars to steal across free mode solo or with other players, with a large payment if the full batch is stolen and delivered. Modding Bay, for customizing personal vehicles, with the bay also accessible by other players looking to mod their cars. Auto Shop owners have the option to purchase an additional car lift to boost customer mods as well. 
mechanics, additional staff members to help run the business by delivering customer vehicles. Vehicle storage for up to 10 personal vehicles. Personal quarters, an optional player launch point with a bed, wardrobe and gun locker. How to make money from an auto shop? Buying an auto shop opens up auto shop contracts to players. These are essentially mini heists with smaller payouts and less tedious setups. However, the payout from them is quite lucrative considering the time invested. These contracts pay anywhere from $170,000 to $375,000. The bank contract, $178,000. The data contract, $170,000. The super dollar deal, $185,000. The prison contract, $175,000. The agency deal, $182,000. The e.c.u job, $172,000. The lost contract, $180,000. The union depository contract, $300,000 to $375,000. These contracts rotate in and out, prompting players to frequently check the contract board in the auto shop. Aside from contracts, players also get access to exotic exports. These are cars available in the open world that players can deliver to the docks for money. Every real 24 hours, 10 cars will spawn that players can deliver for a total of around $250,000. Aside from unlocking paints, having an auto shop allows GTA Online players to customize and deliver customer vehicles. After specking out a car as per the customer's request, players can either deliver it themselves or assign staff to deliver the car. This involves a small investment of $20,000 to $35,000 for a payout of around $50,000. Delivering cars via staff increases the chance of damage, leading to a smaller payout. So that's about all what I have for you guys today. If you guys enjoyed the video, please consider on leaving a big fat like on the video and subscribe with turning all notifications on. With that being said, it's your boy, so fly so Joe one, and I am out of here guys, peace.